As I record this, we are a week away from Apple Vision Pro arriving at everyone's doors who ordered one, and I pre-ordered one. Yes, I got the one terabyte version. I don't know why. I just didn't want to see a your storage is full screen 20 feet wide when I'm in VR. So what is going to be the killer app? Now, there's been lots of news about a lot of apps are not going to be on the Apple Vision Pro at launch, even ones like Netflix and YouTube. You'll have to go to the Safari web browser. But even if we had those apps, entertainment is going to be a fun use case. But what's going to be actually useful in Apple Vision Pro? Is it going to be productivity? Is it going to be some kind of new experience? Well, I have five ideas that will be unique in Apple Vision Pro, creating new experiences for these things. And there are two of these apps I'm about to mention that were announced that will launch with Apple Vision Pro. Some of these are like pie in the sky use cases, probably way off and we need cheaper versions for it to be more accessible. But here are five use cases I think might actually make Apple Vision Pro compelling. Now for developers who make apps, if they have an iPad app already, they can literally just leave a box checked in Xcode and their iPad app could be available in Apple Vision Pro. Now, iPad apps in a window is not going to be the kind of immersive experience we're looking for. But the first app I want to talk about is actually from the Berliner Philharmoniker. I'm actually a classical musician at heart. I have a degree in trumpet performance. Yes, for real. And classical music is one of those things where concerts are not really very popular anymore. It's harder for especially mid-level orchestras and lower to gain those audiences. But imagine if you could experience a classical music concert sitting in the orchestra as they perform. Now, when it comes to classical music and an app experience, this is just one of the best. Even just watching concerts here on your iPad, they have incredible camera angles. You can actually skip forward to the different pieces. And this app gives you behind the scenes with some of the principal players and other orchestra members, the conductors, and you can even watch behind the scenes videos. But imagine if you could watch an orchestra performance of Debussy's La Mer, which is the sea, and you can actually go into an immersive environment that depicts what WC maybe was trying to communicate with the music. Or someone like my wife, who's actually the principal flutist in an orchestra. When she's preparing a piece, she typically watches a professional orchestra play the piece in a YouTube video, and she plays along with it. So she gets a feel of what the piece is going to be like with the full orchestra. Imagine if she could wear Vision Pro, which if you're an instrumentalist, yeah, it's going to be a little difficult to wear a big heavy headset and play the flute at the same time. But imagine if you could actually picture yourself sitting in the orchestra where you would normally sit with the entire orchestra players around you following a conductor, maybe famous conductors, and actually rehearse the piece in VR with that whole orchestra feeling. I think that could be a benefit to some professional musicians and also imagine students. Now I know Apple Vision Pro price at $3,500 is prohibitive. I'm sure a lot of band programs have trouble getting a snare drum. But once we get future versions of Apple's headsets and they're sub $1,000, Having a kid who's interested in music, maybe pick up a classical instrument, can actually feel themselves and picture themselves playing in a full orchestra with a moving piece. Or maybe they can sit in an orchestra playing a movie score that they really love. Now, I had some people on social media share with me that the MetaQuest actually has an app where you can pretend to be a conductor, which looks kind of cool, looks a little more like rock bandy than an actual like professional orchestra type performance. But something like that might be cool too. Feel like you're conducting the New York Philharmonic. Number two, Home Design. When we were building this house that I'm sitting in right now, we use this app called Home Design 3D. To be honest, it's not a great app. This is also not my house. This is one of the stock ones. We're using something like this, even like rudimentary AR features like the IKEA app to be able to visualize furniture in your space. This is pretty cool and gives you a good idea of how to plan your room. But something like the Apple Vision Pro should be able to calculate the exact size of a piece of furniture and let you walk around the room experiencing what it would feel like to have that furniture in the room. In some apps like the Best Buy app, you can actually view a TV in your room. You know, you tap to place it somewhere. It's not the best experience, but maybe for architects and construction teams that are actually building a house and the people moving into the house trying to plan their furniture and layout, being able to walk through an entire house in augmented reality, maybe on the land you're about to build on, that might be pretty compelling and give you a better idea of what the final product will look like rather than just like the hold your phone up and try to picture it through the screen. Also a side note, I think building furniture and I'm talking like Ikea bookcases, that might be pretty compelling too, where following the directions is good, but you know, sometimes you mix up the boards or whatever. Of course you could follow the physical Ikea manual, but imagine if you could wear the headset and it tells you exactly what wooden dowel to put in what hole and how to build it. That might be pretty cool too. Our right, use case number three, and this is more an experiential, but apps like Sky Guide, which you can hold your phone up and see the night sky from your perspective. It'll point out the constellations. This is really cool and using your phone or iPad works fairly well. But if you could wear a headset and it knows exactly where your eyes are tracking in the sky and tell you exactly what you're looking at so there's no guessing, that should be pretty cool. And there are apps that have been announced like Cosmic that will be working on Vision Pro from the launch. 
So not only that augmented reality, looking at your night sky, but also maybe visiting other planets and walking on Mars. Again, that could be a cool like student use case in a children's museum kind of thing, but it would just be fun to kind of do at home too. Number four, when it comes to creativity slash productivity, I do think Logic Pro 10 and other audio editing applications could really use an infinite canvas, as Apple said in some of their PR, to be able to edit tons of tracks. I imagine someone sitting in a studio, typically they have a massive soundboard and they have big screens, and those big screens are trying to display as many music tracks as possible. Well, in VR and AR, you can have it as big as you want with as many tracks as you want. So apps that already exist like Logic Pro 10 on iPad or just screen sharing Logic Pro 10 from your Mac in AR on this 20 foot wide screen, maybe that's beneficial for studios and video editing. I have some concern about like input methods. Obviously you'll be able to connect a keyboard and mouse and use it with Vision Pro or just extend your Mac screen. But I would like to see if there's a different kind of input mechanism like Apple Pencil is to iPad Maybe there'll be something in Apple Vision Pro, eye tracking and pinch gestures or something. And finally, number five, this is just for fun, but Lego. Builder's Journey is actually a game already in Apple Arcade and will be coming to the Apple Vision Pro. You know, being able to do this and things like augmented reality will be pretty cool. But Lego also has a manual app where you can look up the manuals or save the manuals from sets that you have bought. And it will show you the instructions step by step as you're building the Lego right there on your iPad or your iPhone screen. That would be kind of cool to have the manual in augmented reality, maybe even highlight the piece in your visual field, the next one you're supposed to put on the set. So playing with actual Legos in augmented reality or maybe building a Lego like this in virtual reality in the mountains, that might be cool too. But I'll be honest, none of these use cases feel like the killer app for Apple Vision Pro. And I also have to admit, I've not tried Apple Vision Pro yet. My co-host on Primary Technology, Jason Aten, he got to try it back at WWDC. And everyone who has tried it says it is a very compelling experience. Adam Lissagor of Sandwich Video also says that Apple Vision Pro is the real deal. He has an app that will be coming out very soon for the platform as well. I'm excited to try it. I have a terabyte of storage. I can put lots of different apps, lots of different experiences in it. But it remains to be seen how long you can wear it when it's still comfortable, the input methods and all of that. So subscribe to the channel because you can be sure there's going to be many videos on Apple Vision Pro right here on my channel. Hit the like button on this video. If you have any questions or killer app ideas that you've thought of for Apple Vision Pro, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments. And if you wanna learn about shortcuts, which I think shortcuts is gonna be on Apple Vision Pro too, I'll put a whole playlist up here of my shortcuts from Shortcuts 101, seven easy ones to build, all the way up to advanced shortcuts and even Apple Watch action button shortcuts. That was a recent video I did. And I'll put another video up here that YouTube thinks you're really gonna like. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.